Ooh, that sugar sweet You got what I need Sipping on the potion All right, welcome to the grade 12 interview with our chauffeur, Mr. Jim Sam. Paksu. And we've got in the back, Yichan Matthew Kang. Yay! Uh, here's Priska Chon Yu. Maybe you don't know her Korean name. <laughs> now you do. You've got a few weeks left to enjoy it. And I am your host, James Corden. Never mind, Mr. John <laughs> Uh So we've got a few questions for the graduating seniors. Let's start with Matthew. Matthew, why did you decide to come to JCS? Uh, since I think the major reason why I come to JCS is because I can, by having, by studying here, I can get more adjustment and more accommodation. Since I have a some disability, which is called tick disorder, and it may, I think this is JCS is the really good environment that I can uh, study well and that I can per- raise my performances. And also, I think I'm the one who re- very interested in learning. And I through counseling with parents, I got I finally decided to get global Christian education, and which is different from the education that I ca- that I gained from public school. Uh, so I think that's the main two reasons why I moved to JCS. So you were looking for a place where you could learn, but also have a good, uh, friendly environment. Yes. A good Christian environment. Very good. Uh, Priska, how about you? Why did you decide to come to JCS? Um, so when I first came to JCS, I wasn't really, um, I didn't have any other options to be completely honest. But the reason that I stayed at JCS, because I had the option to go back to the States and continue my studies there. But I did. But I decided to stay at JCS because of the opportunities that I could personally go out and grab myself. It drove, you know, my character, and it built me and molded me into somebody that wasn't mm, satisfied in where I was. So I thought that JCS was a good environment for where I could um, hone my ambition and take advantage of the situation that I was and not try to fall back onto like some kind of safety net or whatever. Um, so that's probably the biggest reason why I chose to stay at JCS. For those of you who are watching at home or in chapel, Matthew and Priska have not been paid for their responses. <laughs> These answers are 100% honest. So you can take their word for it that JCS is a great place to learn and a good learning environment. Uh, let's see. So, Matthew and Priska, we've got a lot of events and activities and extracurriculars at JCS, and you guys have both been here throughout high school. What was your most memorable experience at JCS? And whoever feels like going first can. I think I'll go first. Yeah, of course. (laughs) Um, So, JCS, well, we are, I don't know if we're known for, but one of the big things that we do as a school is the musicals. And we have both the winter and summer musicals, and for the past five years that I've been at JCS, I was able to participate in all five of the musicals. And I had the privilege of being um, selected as a lot of fun and interesting roles. Um, I think that was the most memorable part. Um, I had the opportunity to you know, um, expand my stage presence and practice and build my um, confidence. And I think that is something that a lot of our students enjoy and a lot of our students use as a way to better themselves and so that's probably the most memorable part <laughs> which uh which of your roles was your favorite i get this question a lot actually <laughs> um and they're all you know memorable for different reasons but i think the role that i had the most fun with was probably tamatoa Really? Because, yeah, I mean, I I only came out for like a song and a half, but it really was so much fun to prepare for that. Um, and the role itself is such a caricature, and so it was really fun to you know play that character. Um, that's hopefully very different from myself, and so that's probably my favorite character. I would have expected perhaps Genie, but uh... <laughs> Genie was also fun, yeah. but. It was really hard. Mm-hmm. I remember I was like, 
I had it was it was fun as well, but I just it was really hard. For What's the line? The well, Tamato wasn't always <laughs> in this glam. glam. That's right, because he's glamorous. Yeah. Matthew, how about you? What was your most memorable experience at JCS? Oh, I think my uh, most memorable experience in JCS is having a U.S. college vision trip mm. in, to California, which is west coast of the uh, USA. And I think it is very memorable because, like, it first of all, it gives some motivation for me to study hard after I come back to Korea. And <laughs> I'm not sure it happens, but like, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, the campus tour, and there's a lots of delicious food, In-N-Out Burger, and other Chick-fil-A, and I also become more familiar with the environment in there, and also my also my JCS peers, and like, yeah. So I get I uh, in various way I enjoy it, and I like to recommend the student who are. <laughs> who are waiting for applying for US next U.S. college vision trip. So I really recommend for them because I'm the one who really, uh, I, I'm the one who have a really good experience on there. So I think that was the most memorable experience for me. Now we will talk about college in a little bit, but Matthew, out of the colleges that you visited, which college tour did you enjoy the most? Uh, Honestly, pepper that. Oh, really? Uh, I oh. think I and I also apply it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it about Pepperdine that w impressed you? Oh, so I think I quite impressed by their. I mean, first of all, beautiful scenery mm. in the coastal area, right, mm. right. and also, uh, and also I like the there's a lots of field and a lots mm. of soccer field, baseball mm. field, like that also, and the Pepperdine at uh, the undergraduate student in Pepperdine really um, uh, meet, meet us with hospitality and I think that was the most, uh, that was the thing that, uh, <laughs> that was the thing that made me impressed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So let's transition a little bit to talking about your academic experience at JCS. Uh, Prisca, you've taken a lot of different kinds of classes at JCS, what would you say was your most rewarding academic experience? Um, the most rewarding academic experience was probably my most recent um, AP tests. My last test was my AP Lang test, language and composition, and it was the longest one. It was like three hours and a half around, but um, I finished the test and I stepped out of the testing center and there was, you know, a really weird feeling that I had. I was, I was, you know, really glad that I was done, but I was also like, oh my gosh, I'm actually done. And I had to kind of like really understand that my academic career as a high school student is pretty much finished. And um, that was uh, an interesting thing to try to comprehend mm. but I think hmm <laughs> so your most rewarding academic experience <laughs> was being done with it oh. yeah <laughs> I feel like because like, I always like had a sense of I need to build myself up and to to this end point and I reached it and I look back and I look back at my effort and what I contributed to my studying and everything else and you know I did feel a great sense of accomplishment and I felt like stepping out of that room was like the pinnacle of um, that and I don't know it was it was good <laughs> definitely rewarding yeah. Matthew how about you what was your most rewarding academic experience oh uh, I think uh, during the like project for every 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 singular subject i think i i'm the person who always choose easier topic than harder topics but like after listening to some seminar i now decided to choose some difficult topics so that i can learn more and so and i think for science uh me and Prisca have <laughs> together molecular project oh uh, my god <laughs> And also, uh, that was all at like ninth grade, and also, yeah. 
I think in the, at that time, I didn't put much that effort. However, like after a second time trying it, I'm putting some effort and I'm still improving. So I think, and also in, in the same way, mass, uh, there's a, a project called Coordinate that make a arts, oh, yeah, make a like yeah, yeah. arts on with the graph. Coordinate, I like graph and coordinate coordinate in graph uh -huh. and I think after I made after I've done that one I really uh, really su surprised that surprised at my efforts and the efforts that I put on it is it is reflected on my grade and I think also in other subjects and I really uh, even though there are some many tests I really enjoy the project and I also feel rewards in those yeah mm -hmm. So it sounds like you both had rich, full, busy experiences, rewarding experiences at JCS. Yes. What do you think you'll miss most about JCS? Uh, yeah. I, even though it is follow question, I think it is not really <laughs> to my my, ex <laughs> my what I tell before. I think I'm the one who really uh really want to have a deep relationship with teachers and students, and I think I will. Admit, I think. If I want, if I cho choose one thing that I most miss about it, uh, I'll choose the relationship between the teachers and the students. Especially, I'm as a 12th grader, I'm now doing t teacher assistant, and <laughs> I think I really miss the the first and second grader, and also our peers, our class students, and also rest of our JCS uh, students. I also miss them. Uh, when I, I, even though I go to college, I like to visit once after after I yeah during the semester I during the vacation yeah. So you won't miss Kupsi. Uh, uh, <laughs> Next uh, question. Yeah, uh, Prisco, what about you? Um, I think Matthew um said a lot of what I also think because our school is such such a small school. We have a really tight knit community, and there are so many merits to that and the relationship. The relationship that we have with our students and our teachers is really special, I think. And that's something that I definitely yeah. will miss because it's something that not many students get the opportunity to have. So, yeah. All right, we're going to take a quick break on the questions <laughs> because we are at the beacon of civilization. We are at Starbucks. <laughs> Yay! Let's put in our orders. Oh, what are you Thank you, Dr. Lee. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Lee. 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 Thank you, Dr. Lee
So I think that's the biggest thing that was able to push me academically and spiritually mm. alongside the support systems that I had around me. So that's probably how I grew mm. academically and spiritually. How about you, Matthew? Yeah, I think for me, I think the factor or the events that helps me uh, helps me to spiritually grow is I think one of the factors is chapel. I think chapel, I mean, there's a two time period which I like about the school, which is one is PE <laughs> and one another is chapel. And I feel very relaxed and while well, praise God and we have some worship songs and we have some prayer, and we have some sermon. And I really, um, I really touch, sometimes very touched by Dr. Lee's sermon or like it's kind of it rejuvenating my uh my spiritual my spiritual like that moment and i think it's really good time and good time in chapel uh, in chapel we all where we have all together in atrium and we all we all stand up and dance and like and we have listened to sermon same sermon i think that's really uh helps me spiritually yeah. i'm sure dr lee will be very happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah now, now that you all are only a few weeks away from graduating, what advice would you give to uh, younger JCS students or students who are preparing to graduate? Okay, um, for the incoming senior class, a piece of advice that I would give um, is now, this might sound a little absurd, but to enjoy the college application process. Um, I was told that this by my dad, and I really took it into heart because the <laughs> application process is not fun. It really isn't. It's very stressful and it's very um, crippling at times because, you know, you're trying to um, summarize yourself, your identity into usually around um, one page and it's a very stressful time but if you have the mindset that um, this is a chance for me to explore myself to look back to look at my achievements to look at my failures and how I, that has built me into the person that i am today it will help you tremendously in my opinion in your college application process because instead of being so like this is such a stressful and horrible time you can have some fun with it and you don't need to take it too seriously in the fact that you don't you don't need to take it too like darkly it's it's obviously college is a big part of many people's lives but it isn't isn't a reflection of who you are right so to be able to give an accurate representation of who you are to these colleges i think it's crucial for you to have fun in the process so you are able to you know, correctly convey who you are, what your passions are, what your experiences are, and that will lead you to the right college for you. Mm. Yeah. You happen to give the same advice that I give my SAT students. Oh, just have that. fun with it. Yeah. 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 If you don't know an answer, just draw circles. And just, just and you know. Draw, draw whatever makes you enjoy it. Uh, Matthew, how about you? What advice would you give to the uh, incoming seniors or perhaps to the younger students? <laughs> yeah, I think for in case of incoming seniors, uh, which is nowadays 11th grade, I think <laughs> I think I'll, I would like to give advice that is similar to Prisca, but like when we're writing some supplementary essays or a common of essays, I think I really recommend them to naturally so it's, it's naturally express themselves mm -hmm. like do not like don't think it don't think that compli complicated way but like yeah. those just show yourself yeah and, and then i think that's the uh that's the in inspiration that college get it yeah. like college college counselor getting it and so that they can yeah make a decision so i think it's really important to naturally express yourself and also for the students who are uh, for younger students i think as I said, I think putting much effort in your uh, every subject and don't procrastinate it. Matthew. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's one of the advice. Can I, I can't. That's one of the advice that I can give it to you because like.
since we, I'm inputting the grades in my resume and also the college application site, and I sometimes feel really regret some because sometimes I didn't put much effort, and there's there's no like following up grade is not good, not good. So I'm really regretting sometimes at sometimes. So I really want I really want you to put much effort in every time. Yeah. Mm. Now, kind of connected to the previous question about spiritual growth, do you have any favorite Bible verses, or even just a single verse? Yes, Matthew, do you have any? Yes, I have... Oh, sorry, I'm searching. I mean, i take a picture of it. Alright, so my Bible, my, the Bible verse that I, like, I, saw, I, like, I, liked, I would like to introduce, and I selected it, is it's, it is from Romans chapter 5, verse 3 to 4, and I'll just read it. Now only so, but we also glory. In our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, and hope. I think this verse is really touching to me because I have some struggling moments during, uh, especially 10th grade and 11th grade due to my disabilities. However, I think when we persevere and when we uh, stay with tolerance, I think it makes me uh, it makes me more strong person and in spiritually. And yeah, I think that's the reason why I chose this verse. Hmm. Very good. Appreciate your honesty. How about you, Priska? Um, I chose First Corinthians thirteen, verse one. This was from my devotion today, um, and it goes like, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And I chose this not because it's like my favorite verse, but I find it quite humorous. I think um, basically, if you don't have love at the basis of whatever you say, whatever you do, um, how I interpreted it is um, you are annoying or... <laughs> or you are not able to convey correctly what you are trying to say. And I think that this verse with the part that I'm a noisy gong or singing symbol is quite humorous and, it's, and it shows that the Bible is, is funny. It can be funny at times, whether that be the stories or the certain words or things like that. But I think that we see the Bible as something that's, that can be really you know, distant or that's very foreign but we can understand the Bible on a closer and more um, deeper understanding if we take it at a um, easier to consume method and and one way is I, th I guess comedy so I found um, this verse very um, funny <laughs> and because it was funny I was able to remember it um, yes, so I would like to leave this first. I think there's some truth to that, and it makes me think if you're listening to, whether you're listening to your parents or a teacher, it's a lot easier to listen to what they're saying if you know and believe that they actually love you, that mm -hmm. the advice that they're giving you is proceeding from a place of love rather than some other motive. Of course your parents love you, so maybe a better example would be teachers. If you know that your teachers care for you, then it will be easier to do what they recommend for you. Whereas if your teachers seem like they're just blowing you off, then when they do give you advice, it would be harder for you to listen to them. In the same way, they would be hard to listen to a, a noisy gong or a clanging <laughs> cymbal. Yeah. So hopefully you don't have any professors at college who remind oh. you of noisy gongs or clang <laughs> clanging oh cymbals. Uh, let's let's move on to college. Uh, so you both happen to choose Biola, although you will ha almost certainly have very different experiences at Biola. Although Biola isn't a very large school, uh, it is a well-established Christian university, and you just so happen to be in the presence of someone who did have a very full and rich experience at Biola. Uh, I, I went to Biola for four years. I graduated with a degree in journalism. I was a participant in the Tory Honors Program. I was a resident of Hope Hall. I uh, participated in intramural sports. I did intramural uh, soccer, uh, volleyball, uh, bowling. 
I had a full experience at Biola. I loved it. I would highly recommend Biola. So I'm very happy for you two that you're both going. So why? Why Biola? Either one of you. Why Biola? You go. <laughs> uh, I think uh, when I when I I also visited Biola when I went to a college vision trip and I like the atmosphere of the school overall and also and also the students in I mean like I'm not sure he's occupation but like there's a guy who introduced us to Thai right oh Tour yeah Thai, Thai Thai yeah guide yeah he was a guide yeah he was guide yeah. and although he wasn't a student oh. he was part of the admissions oh, really? office I really oh okay oh. I thought he was a student so, I don't know the uh, the admission officer named Thai uh, <laughs> He he uh, he introduced. I think he like uh, how to say. He's really good person. <laughs> I do. I'm really impressed by his uh, him int him introducing the school and and I also like the cafeteria. I, I, yeah, the, we ate in the cafeteria and it was really delicious and there's a really many various of food and. Also, I think my first impression of Biola is good, so I think it might, uh, it may cause, it may cause me to choose Biola, yeah. Good answer. How about you, Prisca? Um, there were a lot of reasons why I ended up choosing Biola. The reason why I first applied to Biola was because, mainly because of people oh. that I know uh, that I've graduated from Biola are really big parts of my life and I see how their time in Biola you know was able to shape them spiritually academically and as a person and that was something that I respected a lot so that's why I applied to Biola and the reason why I chose to attend Biola was um, because mainly because of the honors program that I was able to get into um, I'm in Tory honors program as well as Stewart honors program and I'm so grateful to have been accepted into both and I think these programs will be able to academically challenge me and um, push me to my boundaries <laughs> um, but I don't think the community that um, is at Biola and these programs or whether just the campus itself is something really hard to replicate other, in other colleges and I think that Biola is unique in the fact that um, well, I guess a lot of other colleges will say this, but um, I, I find it unique because of the personal connection that I have with it mm. and the personal connections that I will have with it. Um, going to Biola and being a part of many programs um, that Biola provides. So that's the biggest reason why I chose Biola. So I'd like to hear a little bit more about what you guys plan on studying at Biola. Prisca, if you could uh, tell us what major you will declare, if you have declared one. But if you could also tell us a little bit more about both Tory and Stewart, what makes them the honors mm -hmm. program? Got it. So I'm planning on majoring in health sciences, which was formerly known as human biology. It's I'm going to be studying about biology and chemistry and people and the society, what, whatever, whatever. That's exciting. Um, and so the two honors programs, again, are Tory Honors Program as well as Stewart Honors Program. So Tory is more of a literature-based um, program. Basically, there are different cohorts and you read a bunch of different books that are from different authors, different time periods, and you guys come together as a group and you have um, discussions about them. It's very reminiscent of um, Miss John's English class, actually. I think he maybe have to maybe took some inspiration for his classes from his time at Tory, but um, <laughs> just just a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know how long the discussions are in Tory? Uh, around three hours, I heard. That's right. So that's Aww. one part of Tory that I was not able to take <laughs> and apply darn. at JCS. That's a, that's <laughs> darn, right. Um, how about Stewart? So Stewart is a newer science program that was established at um, Biola. It's very exclusive actually. There were only 20 students each incoming year that are accepted. So I'm really blessed to be a part of this group. Um, and the big portion of the Stuart Honors Program is you are a collection of around 100 students that are all from the STEM side of Biola. And during the fall semester, you guys would 
will, I will, I will be able to participate in creating different projects that are um, built from the ideas of different parts of the STEM program. So obviously I'm probably closest to like a biology major. Mm. I might be put into a group with a biology uh, major, um, engineering, CS, whatever, and we would come up with some innovation or some um, invention to solve some issue. And so an example that I can give is um, the director was able to tell me that last year they had a group create a heart monitor for infants and they made it commercially available, um, small, discreet, and um, able to connect to your phone. So these inventions and these um, um, projects, projects, sure, are um, the biggest part of Stuart. And the second portion during the spring semester, they have um, a lot of programs that are preparing Stuart students for internships. So that's the other big portion of Stuart that they have summer internships. So um, that would be when I prepare my resume and take different classes and hopefully be able to intern at a variety, a variety of different labs and um, colleges and institutions in the summer. So a couple different places that previous Stuart students have been able to intern at are like NASA, UCLA, um, MIT. So pretty big places that you know you can spend a whole summer at and it's a paid internship which is nice <laughs> so that's the big portion of Stuart and yeah that's very exciting yeah Matthew uh, what do you intend to study at Biola I like to study and my major is business management mm -hmm. and since I've I'm not I'm not the person really interested in business when I was when I was like senior I mean when I was like sophomore and like freshman but like after uh, and since I like sports and furthermore I will I like to study uh, after I learn business and management I, I like to combine those and do some business related to sports and I really uh, like to study in Biola and and I, and, I, and, and and since for now I don't have like the future plans, but I'm now in procedure of uh, researching what what do I what should I prepare and what do I learn uh, what should I want to learn in Biola. Yeah. All right. Well, this will be our last question. What do you envision yourself doing after you graduate from Biola? I know we don't have a crystal ball with us, and even if we did, the Bible would deter us from using <laughs> a crystal ball. That's what the Bible and prayer is for. But anyways, what do you envision yourself doing after you graduate? Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, I after I graduate, I may big emphasis on may. I may pursue my master's um, and further education because if as a health science major, I'm on the pre med track, and so if I want to do anything like big, I'm gonna have to get my master's degree. But um, I think I will continue to enjoy learning. So I think going to pursue my master's is the most realistic um, next step after college. And Matthew. Uh, first of all, I want to yell yeah, so the, what is it called? Uh, yeah, go on. Ma ma uh, like, um, uh, that was, uh, so. <laughs> yeah. I want to get also a master's degree in bio, I mean, in bio law or other colleges. And also, I think academically, that's what I want to do. And since uh, I come, I kind of said to my mom this this at uh, this time uh, yesterday, and I even I mean if my physical conditions are right are alright, and it is if it is okay, I want to. I want to. I really want to advance my soccer skills, and I want to teach somebody. So Ooh. by getting some degree, by some, how to say that? By by, by getting okay. some uh -huh. yeah credibility yeah, yeah, <laughs> in yeah. soccer. So yeah, at, and even though our school students, <laughs> they can, they they hey, kind hey. of yeah okay, right, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. but I'm good at it. So I'll try to improve my skills, and i and also I'm trying to uh, improve my. Ballpark club. 
Even though it's not academically, I wouldn't really want to do this, do this because I, I'm all, I'm adults next, almost next year. I really want to <laughs> doing that. Yeah, mm. I'm expecting. Sounds exciting. Yeah. Well, those are all the questions. Thank you for watching. Let's give a big hand to the 12th graders. Congratulations Woo! on almost graduating from JCS just a few weeks ago. Thank you to Mr. Jim for wow. driving us safely. <laughs> I'm John Unjon. Yeah. yeah. Thank you to Dr. Lee for the Starbucks. Wow. Oh, wow. Thank you, Paksu. All right, Thank we'll you. see you later. Thank you, Mr. John.